Welcome back to Varnberg Implement. We're out here on Dismower Road, but we ain't got a whole lot. It's 2021. Sales have been fantastic. And we what we want to talk about today is the Professional Series Disc Mowers from Massey Ferguson. This one is, a, is one we have set up, ready to go. We leave the curtains on until after we get them loaded so we don't damage them or they weather out here in the the sunshine and everything to let you get the full life and benefits out of them but today we're here with the dm 306 pro the, this is a professional series disc mower from massey ferguson it is built one in a 100 percent agco owned factory in Fucht, germany uh, it is available in three sizes as we have featured here is the three meter version and you're going to learn real quick about our nomenclature that we have a three meter six disc unit this one weighs in at 1596 pounds and if we go over here we'll notice we got one two three four five six cutting discs so that's where we get our number from it is also available in a 2.55 meter version which is eight foot four inch cut got five discs weighs in at 1389 pounds we've got some of them on order they just haven't made it uh, going to be available probably for our 2022 season and we've also have the three and a half meter 11 foot six inch big dog seven disc unit that weighs in at 1760 pounds the 8 foot 4, the DM255, because we're 2.5 meters and 5 discs, we're going to need 54 PTO horsepower to run it. The 6 disc is shown here, requires 61 PTO horsepower. And the 7 disc unit, the DM357, requires 68 horsepower. Some of the unique features of this mower. Um, we ha had the New Idea design bar, excellent product, came through New Idea, Heston, the Agco Heston, Massey Ferguson sold them as the 1300 series. The shaft driven modular gearbox design was a very, very true and tried system. And man, it's taken a lot to go to the next step, to actually build on that quality reputation that lasted for over 30 years. I mean, 1988 is when the new idea bar came out, and now we are into our new generation of mowers, the DM Pro Series. And we actually have a Farmer Series, which will be in a later video to show you the features of it. One of the biggest things um, is the comp. This bar is belt driven. You've got a belt that drives from your PTO shaft, is going to connect right in here your PTO shaft you're going to feature a belt drive one of the things of this improvements that I think is the is the automatic adjustment you've got a label right here that is going to tell you the dimension 8.9 inch length from this washer to this surface here of that spring constant belt tensioning that is a big plus hey hey you new idea owners you'll appreciate this because you're constantly adjusting that bolt in and now we have automatic adjustment the belt is going to drive our angle gearbox here our drop main drop box it's going to come down and it's going to power our bar in this plated this silver gold plated area right here is a big shaft and if you look at this picture you will see how this bigger heavier shaft is driving our compact angle drives that come forward into each one of these units and if you look right here you can see that unit on this one here you're going to be able to see that unit a compact angle drive comes forward now one of the biggest benefits is we're a lot lower profile. The amount of material, the height of the bar versus our previous generation is a lot lower profile. Allows us to, 
to get in those heavier crops like fescue or, or rye or wheat, uh, those type of crops that are very heavy materials. Sorghum sedan is another crop that's big and heavy. It allows it to flow over the cutter bar once it's cut and allows you to cut faster, cut more, get more volume off. But look at this compact angle design. We've got a picture up here for you. Um, basically, the shaft comes through, drives a gear that drives forward into underneath of this turtle head. One of the features of this is allows with the shaft design is that power is transmitted to each unit equally. So you got an equal equal distribution of power to each cutter head disc. No matter if it's a five disc, a six disc is featured here, or the big dog seven disc unit. Load and wear is lower, so our we're gonna have less wear and tear on our cutter bar. We're got because we got an equal distribution equal distribution of power to each unit. What's really cool is what's underneath that turtle. We've done another video on our drive guard protection and we're going to slip over here because with this cutter bar you're going to get a toolbox. We actually don't have it mounted yet but we're going to show you something. Some of the extras that you get in the, in the toolbox. Flip that little lever there you're gonna get a drive guard disc. Now this is, you're gonna get these that come with the mower, but I've got a fancy one here. This disc sits underneath this turtle here. You're gonna see the four outer bolt holes here are gonna match up to the four outer bolt holes here. And then you've got a drive hub in the center. If you hit something, you're going to shear these, these five spots there. Correct? Right. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six spots now. The original had four. Uh, we have upgraded this to add a little more strength to it. So if you hit something, this is still going to be driven by the, the PTO, sh the shaft drive back here. But this is going to allow this hat to turn free. You're going to have some banging and clanging. But the good part is this drive guard shear disc is going to save you from tearing up components in that compact angle drive or the shaft. The good part of it is it retains the components. It reduces the downtime to replace this because 10 bolts and you're going back to the field. And the best part of this shear disc, right now, 2021, it's less than $13 to purchase. So when you're hitting something out in that field you ain't supposed to be hitting, we've heard everything from bed springs to deer antlers to hedge posts getting something getting caught in between two of these units and stopping something, you're going to shear that shear disc as a cutter bar protection. And it's low cost to repair and get going back in the field. The next thing we're going to talk about is our dual spring system here. This first spring, which is right here, is our flotation spring for our cutter bar. You adjust this. If you want the cutter bar to be heavier and drag more, you reduce the tension on this spring here. If it's wanting to drag too much, you increase the spring tension by tightening this bolt will allow the cutter bar to float. What you want is about 60 to 75 pounds of force on this end when you hook it up to allow it to drag. But if you hit a bump, you don't want it to bounce and keep bouncing. You want it to hit, bounce up, and float. So you can adjust, fine tune that disc mower to cut perfectly. The next spring, which is our inner spring here, uh, absorbs the shock from when you're coming from transport position when the cutter bar is up and you're laying it down so the shock of it this cut this spring absorbs that shock load to increase the or reduce the wear and tear on your cutter bar and make it smoother for the operator so your two springs one is for flotation this one is going from headlands position to mowing position and this cutter bar you'll actually connect a rope to this hook right here 
but what you've got is you've got a stop inside of there that stop allows this cutter bar you only need one you only need the hydraulic cylinder to operate this mower the hydraulic cylinder that's right here is a single connection when you raise this cutter bar it's going to raise the hitch and the cutter bar at the same time into the headlands position once it gets the headlands position it's going to stop because of this stop here if you want to go further into the transport position you pull the rope up and it allows it to go into go on into the transport position so that is one of the features of this thing especially if you're going to buy this more caddy you don't have to buy a hydraulic version you can save you some money because this bar will come up into headlands position to make the turn without having to to raise the hitch and the cutter bar uh, we're going to go over the setup tips recommendations here in a little bit uh, to help you get the most out of it we're explaining features right now the next thing is this cutter bar is designed to flex down 30 degrees downward and 90 degrees upward so you've got a tremendous amount of flotation that's one of the things to check when you're comparing disc mowers how far it'll allow it to go down especially here in west central missouri where we got lots of hills 30 degree down flex is a lot of flex to help you get the most out of it um, the next thing we're going to talk about is our breakaway we've got a new style breakaway it's a linear breakaway that breaks away this way versus flat on top of each other got the spring there all you got to do is back up a uh, lot more robust a uh, lot less issues with uh, premature breakaway or uh, tearing up components of this thing we used to sell quite a few components on our new idea style disc mower because of the, the style of breakaway uh, and backing up and we don't do that on this mower this mower is horrible parts business for a Massey Ferguson dealer because the only thing we get to sell is some blades and some drive guards it seems like um, the low profile cutter bar one of the things on it is our blade lap if you look here we got bigger turtles so before like our our nine foot cutter bar had seven discs our nine foot two had seven discs you got bigger cutters but you have more blade overlap in this area here and if you look at this picture you'll see where that blade and that blade overlaps here 134 millimeters of disc overlap and the blade sits forward and cuts forward 60 millimeters uh, so swinging blades we got quick change blades now and we're going to show you that we've done another video on it but we're going to jump in here right here on the machine there's a magnet right there that that tool holds against to allow you to do quick change blades and this is simple and easy uh, this curtain you'll be able to open it in both directions uh, it'll flip up from the back and the front but we're going to jump in here and all you have to do raise that bar up and your blades off look how simple that was put the blade back up underneath gonna have a groove there it flips down that's all you got to do raise it up you just want to make sure that blade can swing when you let go of it quick change blades make it so much easier to change your blades and and get the sharp side a dull blade is going to inc increase your fuel usage because it's going to beat the grass versus cutting the grass so quick change blades not only a time saver changing blades but it's also saving you money because you got a good sharp blade cutting all the time included in our box of goodies 
is this tool here. It's a tool, a wrench, and it fits those blade bolts. So if you ever need to replace this bolt and the, and the bushing that the blade is spinning on, you can do that. And one other thing, everybody asks, what in the heck is this thing? Well, that allows you to drop right in there. So when you're taking these bolts off, it contacts against there. You don't need to put a two before in between your cutter heads. It's going to rest against this to take your bolts, your blade bolts out now. But there's also one other thing. This tool comes with this little plug. That plug goes in there and allows you to check the cutter bar oil on this end. Now, you just put this in here. Put that plug in there. Put your wrench on it. And you can check the cutter bar oil. Now this has lifetime lubricant. Does not require to be checked. But you can raise this up and in the operator's manual, roughly seven inches, you'll raise this bar up and the oil, if it flows out of this end, is all is where you need to have the oil. A lot of people like to check it once a year. Uh, if you got questions, consult your operator's manual. It'll tell you how to check the oil. The only time you need to check to change oil is if you have a failure of, a, of one of the compact angle drives. One of the features of this of the DM Pro Series is you've got a dual piece cover system. You've got a cover that's going to cover the middle section and then you'll have one out on the end. But it's got some unique features. Uh, we've got some pictures here we'll show you with the cover on. But you have this metal band here. This metal band, the cover is actually going to fit in between it and this is going to go on the front. So you've got this metal cover that's going to go all the way across the front edge and that's where you're going to get your most wear from the cut uncut stuff rubbing here this is protecting your cover to keep it from damaging your cover and wearing it out prematurely then you have an end cover that's going to cover this outer end here it's got this bar on this end all the way around the edge that is uh covering your your curtain and keeping you out of material this is probably the number one spot where you tear up a cover is on this end this small cover is replaceable here and that cover is a separate replacement so you got a two-piece cover this is your highest piece going to cost a lot less when you damage your cover it protects you for safety from thrown objects and it helps in the hay distribution the back edge even has that same shield cover shield on the back side and we even got driving lights here when these fold up they're right in the the eye of a driver and makes it safe for you to transport your equipment up and down the road the uh, one of the other features and it's going to be hard to show is this on the front here this piece this stone guard right here what a lot of people call them is actually a solid piece that goes from here all the way around and it's actually covering two pieces this is a hardened steel you've got a dual here a dual here and a dual here on the six six foot cutter these pieces these pieces these pieces allow them to reduce the ash content because it's smooth surface as shown in this picture here your, your stone guard goes underneath so it reduces the ash content because you're not dragging up a lot of dirt plus you have a cast protector here in between where that material is coming and it's going to keep from wearing into the cutter bar this cast block is replaceable so the cutter bar design is for long life the reduced amount of ash which is dirt and that is the number one thing that reduces speed value is, is ash content. They're hardened shoes to last a long time. Not pull up as much dirt and improve that quality of hay that you're producing. 
You've also got a divider here that is adjustable. This allows you to adjust the cut and uncut material. You can see the knife edge is right out here on the end. You have the aggressive top hat, the taller top hat on the insides on both sides to help pull that. You're going to pull this crop to the middle from both sides. And then you have an adjustable divide board right back here that allows you to adjust your angle by loosening this bolt you can adjust this angle to how much div division between your cut material and your uncut material there's a lot of features on these dm pro series you can actually add an, another divide in the inside if you want to reduce the material width that is the same place that if you add the conditioner the conditioner is going to fit right in here and bolt against that and you can watch another video we've done on the conditioner option that pretty much sums up the overview of the features of the dm pro series disc mower from massey ferguson they're a quality built product made in foot germany and a 100 percent agco owned facility agco is the parent company of massey ferguson and agco parts are the genuine parts suppliers for massey ferguson products what we want to talk a little bit about now is your basic adjustments to get set up and get started your first thing is your three-point hitch height you're going to measure from the ground to this point right here is 19.7 inches is where you need to cover carry your cutter bar cutting height is going to be done by your top length adjustment where you, the, the more you shorten that top length the more it's going to roll the cutter bar forward to cut closer to the ground if you want to cut back you want to roll the extend the top length to make it a little bit longer and then it'll roll the cutter bar back you never want to get that cutter bar where it's rolled back too far because it's going to try to cut up here and it's going to try to cut here and so you're double cutting and going to take a lot more horsepower than what you need to be cutting hay so knife speed you're going to run this implement at 540 pto speed uh, is the proper operating technique ground speed uh, should be set so the mower achieves a clean cut while properly falling the ground if it's bouncing up and down you're going to check that spring tension first but also you can be over driving compared to the crop conditions so you can pretty much drive one of these things as fast as you can sit in the seat the next the next check is your flotation which we talked about earlier is done with this spring here uh, need more flotation you crank it up you need less flotation you loosen the bolt and the next the last adjustment to get ready to cut is your is your swap former shield which is a rotary shield here and you adjust that to how aggressive you just have to watch when you come there that you've got enough clearance in between here and that shield or you're going to hit i hope that helped you learn more about the dm professional series disc mowers from massey ferguson they are a cut above the rest uh, a lot of features to help you do a cleaner super cut one other thing the one question we always get the kickstand what you're going to have to do is you have a safety latch right here to keep you from folding the bar up until you raise this up first thing you want to do is raise your raise your mower and flip this kickstand the spring-loaded kickstand over when you flip it over it retracts this bar so you can raise the cutter bar so that's pretty much all you got to do to get her going and get in the field and make sure you keep your spring adjusted at the proper dimension the dm 306 Pro Series Cutter Bar This Mowers from Massey Ferguson. Visit your local Massey Ferguson dealer and put one to work for you today. Available in three sizes, the 8 foot 4, the 9 foot 10 as we've got shown here, and the 11 foot 6 inch version and the DM357. We've got more ordered for 2021. Put your name on one, you'll have one for next season we've got them ordered we've got them coming in it's been a challenging year 
but it's worth the wait to step up to the new DM306 Pro Series disc mower from Massey Ferguson. And if you're in West Central Missouri, right here on noisy Fairground Avenue, right there at the first stop sign, and that is Missouri 13 there. We're just four miles north of Interstate 70, just 49 miles from the Missouri-Kansas line. And tune in next time as we go in-depth review of the Farmer Series as we got showcased here with the DM-287 and DM-246. If, if your budget is lower, you don't need as fancy a disc mower, we have two options, the Farmer Series and the Pro Series from Massey Ferguson.